Hi, we're Scott and Julia, and today we're going to work on the West Coast Swing. Rock step, a basic, then a throw out. A left underarm, left side pass, and the sugar push. Those are the, and then once you start doing the sugar push, you pretty much work everything off of that sugar push. And that's how most of us think of that sugar push as the basic. Technically, the basic is just like East Coast Swing, triple step, triple step, rock step. So, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I like to teach those first four steps because it gets your body used to doing one, two, three, one, two, three. And instead of rock stepping, we're going to do walk, walk. So, we'll put the, uh, I'm trying to think of what angle I want to do here. Let's just do the basic first. We've got rock step, rock step, triple step, triple step. Now the smaller your triple step, the better. It's not a big traveling dance. Triple step. Now the second step is a throw out. Right? We're going to go rock step. I bring my right shoulder all the way around. One, two, three, left. Go my right shoulder. Triple in place. Triple step. Just like that. So let's do our rock step to a throw out. We're going to go rock step. I throw her. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's have a partner do just that much. Hey, hand. Rock step. We basic. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then we throw her out. One, two, three. One, two, three. Any questions so far? Yeah. And I'll move off the sidewalk this way, or I'll move off the sidewalk, sidewalk this way. But my feet are still going to do one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Just like the basic of a swing. So, good push. Ladies, we'll do your part first. Ladies, you're going to start with your right foot. We're going to go one, two. Now, use just the bar of the foot for one, two, then step back for three. Then bring your left foot back for one, two, three. In the camera, you can be square for your one, two, three, or you can be in a third foot position for one, two, three. Doesn't matter. What we don't want is everywhere moving around. This is called an anchor step. It means you stay in place. We don't want you moving backward. I don't want you to go backward and then forward. We stay in place, anchor step. Whether your feet are together or whether you're in a third foot position, don't move on that triple step. So ladies, let's try your part from the top. Right foot free for the ladies. We're gonna go one, two, kiss your partner. Use only the bar of your right foot. One, two, back, three. The left foot, one, two, three. It's one. Two, kiss your partner. One, two, three, move. One, two, three. I'll let you practice that several times. Guys, we've got one hand. Now, you're going to pull your partner in and then stop her. I use the term pull loosely. The, what I don't want is for me to move back and her to move forward. See how she didn't get any closer to me? I want her to come close enough to kiss. <laughs> for lack of a better expression. One, two, she comes closer. One, two, three. One, two, three. I do not control what the lady does. Just like a walk around turn. If she doesn't know how to walk around turn, you can't make her do it. And the same thing with this sugar push. If she doesn't know how to do one, two, three, then you can't make her do it. Guys, our part is with your left foot. So my walking steps are smaller so the woman can catch me. So we're going to go one, Two. Now I do a triple step just like swing. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now notice that my forward step is much, and my walking step backward is much, much smaller than the woman's. So my walking steps are smaller. My triple step coming a little forward is smaller so that she can get away. If I move too much forward, one, two, three, she did not get away from me, did she? And we would need her to come in and come out. And come in and come out. Not both of us move together. So let's try that. Uh, guys, back with the left foot, these with the right foot. We've got one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. With the feet, I keep my left foot, I'm going to switch directions for the camera, I'm doing the guy's part. I keep my left foot in front, there's the triple steps. Triple step, triple step. See how my right foot stayed behind my left? Then when I walk, that's when my feet can pass. I stop here and do my triple step, triple step. Time for the tape and also talk about the history of the West Coast Swing. So, are we ready? Now, um, let me count a little different for our sugar push. We're going to do 
One, two, three and four, five and six. So the hands meet on two. One hands two, she leans towards me for three and moves away four, stays there for five and six. So guys, uh, go slow and do it a thousand times until it becomes easy. For me, that's 10,000 times. So I bring my partner in, one hands two in place. Three and she moves four, five and six. Now how many of you used to do this with tap steps and coaster steps? Anybody familiar with that version? That is the disco version of this dance. That's how I learned it, with the tap steps and the coaster steps. They don't really do it that way anymore. This dance became, gosh, one of the more popular dances in the country. There's like, I think Indiana's got four West Coast swing clubs, right? So. So it's changing to a much more rhythmical, heavier, not on top of the floor like it used to be. It used to be disco, tap steps, and coaster steps. Now it's much more earthy and in the floor. One, two, you can use your hips. Three and four, five and six. We want her to keep, stay heavy on that anchor step where they used to do a coaster step where she'd come forward and we do tap, step, coaster step. So but we don't do it that way anymore. So, uh, one more time for the sugar push, and then let's see if I got time to do a left side pass. So, I know, very little time. We're gonna do. So, when do I meet your hand, gentlemen? Two. 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 When do I let go? Four. Four. Let's see. Ladies, when do you see meet your hand? Two. When do you let go? Four. Oh, that's a good crowd. Let's see if you can do that. Guys, I see your free hand. We've got one hand, two, kiss her, three, and let go four. Five and six. Repeat. One, two, three, and four. Five and six. Okay. Let's try a left side pass now. To do the left side pass, what I've got to let her know is I'd like her to go on this side of me. And that's exactly how I, this way, madame. That's basically how I lead that. I'm going to do one, two, three, and four, five, and six. So I've got a slide diagonal. Let her know which side of me she's going to pass. I'm going to take a backwards step, two steps backwards. One, two. I'm going to triple in place as she runs forward and passes me. Three and four, face her five and six. Back to my sugar push at that point. So, guys, you have to open the door. So I've got my hand. I've got to do one sugar push to set this up. So we're going to do one sugar push, one and two, three and four, open five and six. Two steps backward, guys. One, two, keep the hand low, let her go. Now, ladies, we're going to show the ladies their part. They're going to run, run, run. Depends on how much space they have. They don't have to run, run, run. You can do toe cross step. But I like to get people used to what I call turning rules. When I, I'm going to have you stand right here. When I go past my partner, I've got to turn so I can stay dancing with her. So if I move past her, I turn. I can't go past my partner and then never turn. Right? Yeah. We, we went to dance well together. No. <laughs> when I move past her, don't turn. So that's kind of what's happening. We're going one, two, she's going to dance through her arm. One, two, when she passes me, she turns to face me. Five and six. So let's do the guy's part. Guys, let's do one sugar push. Ladies, you can try your part as well. We've got one, two, three, angle four, five, and six. Now I'm going to walk backward, not this way. I want to stay ahead of my partner. One, two. Now I'm in place as I turn three and four. Get back on the sidewalk. Five and six. Back to your basic. Ladies, I'll show you what I like to do when I'm doing the ladies' part. <laughs> one basic to, we'll do one basic to set it up. One, two, three and four, five and six. The door's open, I know I'm going past. So I've got one, two, I'll leave four to run. Three and turn four, hold, five and six. Let's back up and do it again. Ladies, you can do one, two, three and four, five and six. I like the run, run, turn at the last second, five and six. I don't like to go one, two, three, and four. That's too pretty, too Latin. -y. So I will curve that last step. 
So one base to set it up. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. One, two left arm points, three, and four, five, and six. Well, I think let's try to grab a partner with 